Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different uh, because I am going to film a travel makeup bag tutorial and I, not tutorial, what the hell was I'm thinking? No, travel makeup bag or what's in my travel makeup bag is really what I'm gonna film. Uh, and I'm doing this from my cell phone. So if the quality is a little bit different, sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything I have in this makeup bag right here that I have. This is a weekender bag, guys, and it is the best ever. I'm gonna show you guys everything I have in here. Um, I got this bag from Target um, for about $30, I think. And I got it about a year ago, but they still have this type of bag. It's just they have prettier patterns and they still have these bags, so fret not you can get your hands on one of these bags. So without further ado, let's begin. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my camera so that I can show you, because I'll be using one hand to open the bag, show you everything in the bag, and the other hand to hold my handy dandy cell phone. Now, oh, I forgot to mention, right now I am in Orlando, Florida, and we are here for the Memorial, um, Memorial Day weekend, so, Salute to all my veterans, those serving, those not. Um, we definitely appreciate your service. So thank you so much for that. Okay guys, so I'm back. I managed to turn the camera around. All right, so we're gonna begin. Pretty much, it's called a weekender bag and I absolutely love it. It's got three compartments. This one is more of a mesh type compartment for those products that are not, um, liquid or you know do not have to be under some sort of plastic so it doesn't spill then you have your makeup brush area here where you can store your brushes to go on the other side of that i've got a pocket that holds like all of my small items and i'll go through everything one by one and yeah and then here you have everything that will or can um spill so it's in a plastic, as you can tell. So we're gonna go through every single item. And since I have this open, I'm gonna go ahead and start by here. First item I have in here is my Heart Candy Sheer Envy Primer Mist in 12 um, hour power. I've already talked to this on my about this on my channel. You guys know how much I love this and I just don't leave the house without it. So that's the first thing. On this side, I also have the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. You guys have heard you know, if you've seen any of my other videos in my hauls, you know that this is something that I absolutely love. So of course, another staple. My moisturizer that I don't leave the house without. I take this with me everywhere and in conjunction with these babies, they're all part of my staples. The Benefit Matte Rescue, awesome stuff too. In here, I also have Several foundations. I've got this one um, with this, which is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I've got the um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation as well. I also have the Milani uh, Conceal and Perfect Two in One Foundation. These three foundations are basically the foundations that I take with me everywhere because I can always mix and match. As you can see, this one is more red based. This one seems to be more yellow based, and this one's definitely lighter. So I, I, I kind of like to mix them, um, depending on my mood and feeling. So, I, you know, they're my three staples. Then I also have Max Fix Plus, which you know, obviously, you set your makeup with that, and I don't leave the house without it as well. And the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff. If this stuff is pretty inexpensive and it's fantastic it sets your face and makes it last the whole day I also have the Milani Prime and Shield Mat mattifying pore um, primer I have very oily skin so for me that's very important so yes what else do we have in here so I've got lipsticks on this side I've got the um, Karuchi collection. It's K, Ruch, and Chi. So you can see K is this one right here. Then you got Ruch in the middle and Chi. So, yes, from ColourPop Eyes. I have several concealers. Um, let's see here. Yes, these three. These three concealers. 
I use the uh, Maybelline Age Rewind, the MAC um, Pro Long Wear Concealer, and the NYX HD Concealer. These all three are awesome. I carry with that. My Very Dirty Beauty Blender. Yeah, I just used that this morning, so it's not the most pretty. This is a clean sponge, so I also play, I do, I also put my foundation with this one, so I have a clean one. I have this mascara, and I just bought this mascara because I forgot to pack a mascara on my way here, so I bought this one, and although it says waterproof, I did try it in the pool, and it did not stand the test. However, it did give me volume, and it did make my lashes look full, so I love it because of that. I just don't feel that this is definitely a waterproof mascara for the beach or anything of that nature. So yeah, that's that. And um, by the way, this bag is from the brand Orla Keeley, etc. And this is in Target, guys. If you want to find that brand there, um, I will post a link in the description bar um, telling you, you know, what I, I don't think they have this brand anymore, but they do have a weekender bag, and I'll go ahead and post that link under in the description bar if you're interested in purchasing a bag like this. I also have my baby lips um, lip balm. This stuff has SPF, and if you're going to be out in the sun, I suggest you get a lippy uh, or a chapstick with SPF. It is extremely important. The next item I've got is my Rimmel lip liner. This one is in the color Cafe Ole or Ola. Maybe I'm saying that wrong, but these lip liners are freaking life. If you haven't tried a Rimmel lip liner, I suggest you do. This is the lasting finish lip liner from Rimmel. They're absolutely amazing. My NYX Skinny Mascara, you guys know that this is my jam. I also have the NYC liner, which you can't even tell it is the NYC liner, but this stuff is amazing as well and very inexpensive. Um, this is my NYX Jumbo Pencil. I don't leave the house without it. It's phenomenal. This is great stuff. What else do I have in here? Let's see. I've also got MAX uh, Lip Liner in, uh, let's see if it focuses, Night Moth. This is I love this because I paired this with the, um, where is it? I paired that with this and I get like a mauve color. It's, what the, yeah. So I pair these two and I can get like a mauve color and it's just a lot of variety that I can do with that one uh, lip liner. I also have the NYX Eyebrow Shaper. This is a wax um, pencil and it basically tames my little bit of eyebrows I've got so that I can be able to fill them in. Then I also have, um, I bought Pillow Talk from ColourPop. This is a lippy stick. And let's see if I can open it. All right, and this kind of, this goes like this. This is also a variety from the other three lipsticks that I bought as well because if you pair this with um, Whirl or even with the Night Moth from MAC, you get a beautiful mauve color. I'm really into mauve lips lately. I also have MAC Whirl. This lip liner is my staple. I use this baby every single day. Then I also bought a pink, uh, like a magenta colored liner. And this is this is a pretty color. Um, I also like to pair this with like one of my nude lippies to kind of give it more of a pink hue. Then I also have my Jessie's Girl eyeshadow primer. So that's pretty much everything I had on this one side all that stuff fit on the one side so you kind of get an idea of you know the size of these bags it holds so much and this clinique is the 6.7 ounce which is the biggest size they make and it fits literally perfect in that side so now that we have that side cover let's go into this pocket and i will show you exactly what i've got in this pocket in here i've got the perlis um, Blue Lotus I Adore Serum. I use this at night before I go to bed so that I can tame those puffy eyes in the morning. It works like a charm, by the way. I got this in one of my Ipsy bags, and as you can see, all of these Q-tips peeking out. I've got Q-tips all in there. Um, I definitely have to find a way to organize that in the near future, but 
I kind of ran out the house, so I stuck what I needed in there. I also have my sharpener that you know sharpens both my large and my small pencils. I've got the Revlon lash line, uh, lash glue, which you guys know is my glue to go. I also have scissors. It's very important to carry around with scissors. You just know you don't know when you're gonna need to cut an eyelash or I don't know a tag from some clothes. Let's see what else do I have in here. Scissors come in handy when you are traveling. So last but not least, I have my Sephora uh, lash, um, what do you even call this? I totally forgot. Anyway, this is to place your lashes on your eyes. And I got this from Sephora and I just don't go anywhere without it. It's the bomb. All right, so that's all that's in that side. Now on this side, and this, you know, my brushes are obviously dirty because like I said, this morning I did my makeup. So, I'm going to show you guys briefly what type of brushes I have in here and yeah there on this on these first two I have my face brushes so on um, my face brush I basically have this uh, real Tech real techniques powder brush I use this with all my bronzers my powders and then I also have the elf blending brush I think gosh there's no name on it but I want to say this is one of their newer brushes it's like a really dense dome brush and I like to do my contour with this I also have my handy dandy BH cosmetics large jumbo highlighter brush and again this is one these are my staple brushes I don't you know I take them everywhere uh, this is a Sonia Kashuk this was from a limited edition uh, set that I got a couple of years ago these brushes are still holding strong and this is gonna this is my um, blush brush I love this stuff this is from BH cosmetics as well and it is from the same set that I got when I mean when I first started getting into makeup and this is what I use to dust off my excess powder underneath my eyes then I also brought this one from another BH cosmetics um, set and this is basically what I use to diffuse my, um, what I use to diffuse my under eye concealers. So, uh, so I kind of spread the concealer with this and the Beauty Blender, but first I do it with this because this kind of gives it like a evenly spread out, and then the Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender sets it like it presses it in my skin. That's what I got for the face brushes, and then for eyes. I got the following brushes so I'm gonna keep it really really I'm trying to trying to condense this video as fast as much as I can these are my blending brushes all of these are my blending brushes blending brushes uh, this is another blending brush and you're probably wondering why in the hell do you have five blending brushes well the answer is depending on how you know how deep or how light I want my crease then I want to give myself options I don't want to necessarily stick to one brush and then I just don't have options I like to give myself options because I know how I am I can be very wishy-washy and there are some things that I have an idea I'm doing and then I end up doing the complete opposite so yes I give myself lots of options when it comes to the brushes then I also have my spoolie I have a um, eyeliner uh, slant tip no what is this an eyeliner brush yes eyeliner brush uh, I also have my brow brush which I don't go anywhere this is the Mac 208 this is what I put my eye my Anastasia dip brow gel with and then this is a um, more domed crease brush that I have from Soho uh, let's see what's this this is what I put my concealer underneath like my brows to kind of give that clean edge this is the brush I use it is very similar to this one but I don't use this one with concealer I use this one then I also have this one this is a what is this deluxe crease brush and this is more you know tapered and it's definitely more concentrated for that outer corner then I have my um, my shadow brush this is so dirty that's so bad anyway i have my shadow brush this will place the shadow on my lid and i have a pencil brush which you obviously need then i also have another uh brush this is from sonia kashik this one is more concentrated and i like to just do the um underneath the lash line 
to set powder there or the eyeshadow of choice. And this one is a dual brush from Eco Tools, and it has on this side the eyeshadow um, brush and then on the opposite side it has lash or what I use for this is I use this end for the powder that I use to um, set my dip brow with. So that's it for the brush portion. I'm going to see how I'm going to do this. Holy moly, this video is going to be much longer than I expected, but it is what it is, right? Because this is live and yeah. All right, so on this side, obviously, like I told you guys, this is more of a mesh side. All right, so this is the box that houses all my lashes. And obviously, as you guys already know, I give myself options, options, options. Very, very different. You go from dramatic to sort of dramatic to very subtle to, well, subtle for me at least. Yeah, I give myself options. And this is such a cute kit and you can take it everywhere. Then I also have one of these thingamajiggas. I use this to clean my brushes in between eyeshadows. So you know that I basically, you know, give myself options, but then there's times where I need to use the same exact brush. I'll clean it like this. Like I will rub this brush on this. And this is one of these ponytail thingies. I, oh my God, I give like the lousiest descriptions. Anyway, this is one of those, um, you know, one of those bun thingies and when you clean in between like literally the whole eyeshadow comes off your brush i kid you not like go out and buy one 99 cents try it out and you're gonna be like damn claudia you're 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 brilliant but i can't give myself all the credit because i learned this from somebody else so anyway moving forward i've got a whole bunch of bronzers okay so i'm like a freaking ugh, bronze whore um yeah so I also have the chocolate bar palette. We're gonna go into bronzers in a minute, in a minute, but let's go ahead just because I have a lot of bronzers. So I'm like all over the place now. I also give myself options as far as um, shadows. I typically go with neutrals. I don't try to take anything with too much color unless I know I'm going to do a look with color. But in a you know a trip like this where I was winging it and I really didn't have a lot of time to pack my makeup I figured you know what let me go safe let me get some palettes that are neutral and I know that I can create a look um, you know that that's also bold as well so what I did was I bought my Too Faced um, palette my Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I also bought my custom made MAC shadow palette. So as you can see, I named, I put the names on these. You know, obviously this one's rice paper. This is texture. This is brown script. And that's Embark all from MAC. Really? All from MAC. And yeah, so that's the options that I give myself. And you just can't go wrong when you go with neutrals. So next, uh, let's go into our bronzers because... Yeah, I've got just a whole bunch of bronzers that I can talk about all day. So the bronzers that I brought um, were the NARS. This is Casino. This is NARS Casino, which I've already hit pan. It's just insane. And hi there. So yeah, um, this is the NARS Casino. I bought this bronzer. I've got the Black Radiance Pressed Powders in Golden Almond and Bronze Glow. And these thingamajigs look like this. Ooh, okay, guys, sorry. I'm using one hand so I use those to bronze my face and bring color to my face because sometimes my foundation can seem a bit lighter and you guys know that I like to bring the color back to my skin that's how I do it I also just got this one the NYX or NYX matte bronzer which I am in love with it's so awesome it's matte and this one is in the color deep tan well deep tan it's just, it's the darkest, color, the darkest color they make, and it's phenomenal. I love it. Then I also have, let's see, what else? I also have my staple that you guys have seen in previous videos. I use this in every single video, and as you can see, I'm almost hitting pan on that baby. Um, and this is in the CoverGirl Queen Q425 Medium Deep. Yep, and then I also have this gorgeous beauty that is a bronzer but I also use it as a highlighter because as you can see it has like gold flecks and tones in it and it gives you like the most amazing glow seriously like the glow is just insane with this so this is what I finalized all my bronzer goodies 
and I give myself that final glow with this baked bronzer from Palladio in Caribbean Tan. Pick it up. It's at uh, Ulta and it's the bomb.com, guys. All right, moving on to face powders. So I carry with these two babies. I just did a haul, um, you know, kind of like a car vlog ish. And I'm featuring this one right here, which is my newest one to the collection. The obviously the translucent extra, extra coverage I've had for forever, and I set my under eye with it. I set my makeup with it, um, but I decided to try the translucent because it seems to be just a bit more sheer than the extra coverage. So what I do is I set my under eye with the extra coverage, and then the rest of my face with translucent. And I've been trying that for. I'd say about four days and I am definitely liking it. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more time using these two before I do a compare and contrast video, which was requested. So yeah, that's coming guys. And these are the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powders. They're super inexpensive and they set your foundation like a dream. They set your concealers like a dream. The only thing that may bother some people, as you may or may, or may not already know, is the scent. It does have kind of like that old lady scent. And I hate to call it that because it's so cliche, but that's kind of the best description I can give you. It's definitely more of a floral scent. And for me particularly, it doesn't bother me. I think it smells pretty delicious, but a lot of people are um, you know, sensitive to scents and smells. So mm, if you are one of those people, you might want to stay away from this. The scent does not linger, guys. It doesn't linger. So you know, it'll smell, but it'll go away. So if you can handle the scent and you want an inexpensive uh, powder that will set everything into place for the whole day and keep you mad, you, this is the way to go, especially if you're an oily girl like me. All right, this I picked up here in Orlando, guys. I wanted a really big sponge, you know, powder applicator for these babies. Um, and I needed something and I needed something fast. So I went to the beauty supply out here with my bestie and I found this baby and oh my God, it's, it's, it's fantastic because it kind of has like that beauty blender um, kind of material and it just sinks the foundation the I'm sorry the powder directly into the skin and it gives you the most flawless coverage so oh my god I'm glad that I picked this up I'm hoping that I can find this somewhere near my home otherwise my bestie will be making trips to send me this whammy at my house <laughs> she doesn't know that yet though Anyway, the next product that I um, brought is uh, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. This is the color that I use to set my foundation as well. So I give myself options. This is what, I, if I don't want to set my foundation with, let's say, these powders, I give myself the option of doing it with the MSF. And this powder is amazing from MAC. It is definitely always going to be a repurchase for me because it just never fails me. Love this powder. The next item that I bought was one highlighter. I didn't go really crazy with highlighters because like I told you guys, I bronzed my skin with this one and then I just kind of hit those high um, high places on my face with the Becca Opal highlighter. Uh, I absolutely love her highlighters and I also have Champagne Pop, but I didn't bring that one because it was more in the gold tone and I was using this one with the gold tone. So I said, you know what, let me stick to Opal and it's always my go-to to go anywhere. Blush. So let's hit the blush. Blushes, I only bought these two. So this is from the Bram Model Co. And this is Peach Bellini. I got this in an Ipsy bag, but I am in love with this blush. This blush is so amazing, guys. And if I, oh my gosh, I hope I didn't dig my finger in that. Okay, there it goes. If you can see, can you guys see? It has like goldish tones in it with peach and like, a, oh my God, like a rosy. It's just it doesn't give a just like the camera doesn't give it justice it truly really doesn't but when i tell you this color is amazing i freaking love it it works very well with my skin tone i also bought the brought the milani blush in delicioso pink this one is a gorgeous gorgeous pinkish magenta color and it is amazing to give you that blush and these blushes are just awesome and they're drugstore all right, so we're getting to the end of the video. Whew, guys. All right, so the next item that I bring is my MAC Uninterrupted Pro Longwear Eyeshadow. This eyeshadow serves as my transition color. I take this one 
everywhere because this is also an all over eyeshadow color for me especially when i'm on the go and on the run and i don't have much time this is the eyeshadow that i use so for sure uninterrupted by mac is one of my shadows that goes with me everywhere so then i have a couple of eye products and let's see let's take out the eye products all these are my eye products guys we're gonna take all these out and i am basically done once i go through these we're done with this so the next eye products that i bring are my anastasia dip brow pro mod in M ebony you guys know that this is what i do my brows with if you haven't seen my eyebrow tutorial you can check my uh, link below I will put a link on that as well this is my holy grail I won't do my brows without it and yeah ebony is the color that I use for the Anastasia dip brow and I can't close that right now moving on this is the uh, concealer that I use from MAC this is the NC 45 studio finish concealer and it looks uh, yeah okay it looks like this and I am just about hitting pan. Well, I've hit pan and I've, I'm scraping those corners, guys. I'm scraping those corners. I have a backup of this, but I'm just really cheap and I literally use every single last drop of everything I have. Um, yeah, so that's that. Then I have the Ardell powder. This is what I set my Anastasia dip brow with. And you guys have seen this in my eyebrow video. If you haven't, like I said, I will link that below as well. This is the Ardell um, Mink Brow Powder in Mink Brown. Then I have a gel liner, which is the Rimmel 001 Black Gel Eyeliner. And I love this eyeliner. It is waterproof, does not go anywhere. This baby will stay on your eyes. And I tested this yesterday at the pool together with oh my gosh i can't get it open guys um i hold on hold on hold on God, wait. okay here we go here we go all right i tested this in the pool yesterday and yes this is not going anywhere this was a hit for me when it came to waterproof items for the beach or the pool this is definitely something you want to pick up this is another concealer that I have also the studio finish in NC 35 it is too light for me but what I do is I use this to kind of prime my eyes before I apply shadow um, so I give myself options I have that other option that I showed you guys in, earlier in the video which was the Jessie's girl let me try to open this okay I've got this open all right so I basically use these two but if I'm using this one I like using this one if I want those colors to show very vibrant. This one's more on the sheer side and it's to it hold your eyeshadow in place, but it's sheer. So when I want something to give me some color and give me that lighter base so that my colors can become much more vibrant, then I definitely use the MAC Studio um, Finish Concealer in NC35. And last but not least, guys, thank you so much for hanging on to this video. I, if you're still watching, listen, you're the bomb. You are the absolute best. We are finalizing this video. These are my ColourPop shadows in Bandit, Get Lucky, and what is this? Lala. So these three are the colors that I decided to bring for my latest haul. If you haven't seen that haul, again, that's another video that I've made as well with my very first ColourPop haul. As you can see, they are now staples in my travel bag. So that just tells you they are, yeah, holy girl items now. All right, so I'm going to try to open these guys really quickly so you can see what they look like. All right, this is... Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, here we go. This is the gold hue one that I told you guys that I normally don't pick up gold shadows, but somehow Get Lucky. Get Lucky has really, really become one of my faves. So, yeah, she came with me on this trip, and she was like, you know what? We're going to Orlando, boo. You better pack me. And here is Lala, which is one of my faves, actually. Lala is definitely one of my favorite colors because it just glides on your lids and it's one of the prettiest, prettiest rose gold shadows that I've definitely seen. So this is Lala from the Super, Super Shock um, Shadows at ColourPop. This color is amazing, as you can already see. See how much reflex that has? It's even prettier on your eyes. 
And then finally, the last color that I have is Bandit. Bandit is more a matte color. And let me see if I can get this open. Oh. Okay, here we go. All right, yeah. Godly, I didn't know I was trying. All right, here we go. This is matte. So this is a matte finish, but this is like the perfect rusty brown. And I think it makes the best crease color ever so definitely decided to bring bandit on this trip and that is it for everything guys thank you so much for watching i don't want to make this any longer than already it is it's freaking 30 minutes it's just insane and now i gotta organize everything back but i do it all because i love you guys and i really really hope you have safe travels in the near future i will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching guys Mwah. bye